Good evening and welcome once again to Vespers uh, evening office on this Friday of the second week of Easter. At least we've done something a little different this afternoon in this church. We've had our first wedding since the uh, lockdown eased on the 12th of April. So they didn't waste much time. We were allowed once again from the 12th of April this week to perform weddings again, albeit with only 15 people. So before the week is out, we've done one. That's good. And we've got many more in the pipeline, people who have been waiting for a year or more to have their weddings. And so we're glad for them. We pray particularly for Tom and Sarah, who were married here this afternoon in this church. And we give thanks to God for all the good things that have happened to us today all the blessings he showers upon us. And very often we brush them off like raindrops or we don't notice them. We always think about and remember the negative things that happen in the day. But we need to be more positive and thank God for all the good things. And so this evening we will celebrate uh, the evening office. And I will commence this evening with the Angelus. Um, but we will omit the a simple decade of the rosary afterwards because we do finish with the Easter um, and uh, Easter message to the Blessed Virgin Mary that will be sung at the end of the liturgy tonight. And I'm choos I've chosen the hymn from the uh, Universalis, not from the Breviary tonight. Um, that, that's the one, that, and I know a lot of people use Universalis who join us, so... That's one of them that's on the list tonight in your Universalis. So we commence with the, um, the Angelus, the message of the angel to our Blessed Lady. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross, be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. And I've chosen the first two and last two verses. O Christ, the heaven's eternal King, Creator unto Thee we sing, with God the Father, ever one, co-equal, co-eternal Son. 
Thy hand, when first the world began, made in thine own pure image man, and linked to fleshly form of earth, a living soul of heavenly birth. Jesus, do thou to every heart unceasing paschal joy impart from death of sin and guilty strife set free the newborn sons of life. All praise be thine, O risen Lord, from death to endless life restored. All praise to God the Father be, and Holy Ghost eternally. Amen. The Lord save my soul from the power of death. Alleluia. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me with the snares of death. With the anguish of the tomb, they caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name, O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord save my soul from the power of death. Alleluia. The Lord protected his people as the apple of his eye. Alleluia. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not, your God. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers, Israel's God. The Lord is your God and your shade. At your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and your coming, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord protected his people as the apple of his eye. The Lord is my strength and protection. He is my salvation. Alleluia. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my strength and protection. He is my salvation. Alleluia. from the letter to the Hebrews. Although he was son, Christ learnt to obey through suffering. 
But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation and was acclaimed by God with the title of high priest of the order of Melchizedek. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, we repeat. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. They saw the Lord. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. By submitting to death on the cross, he destroyed the power of hell. He has covered himself in glory by rising on the third day. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. By submitting to death on the cross, he destroyed the power of hell, he has covered himself in glory by rising on the third day. Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ, the fount of life and the source of virtue. Lord, restore your kingdom in the world. Jesus, our Saviour, in the body you were put to death in the spirit you were raised to life. Grant that we may die to sin and live in the power of your resurrection. Lord, restore your kingdom in the world. You sent your disciples to proclaim throughout the world the gospel of salvation. May all who preach your word be alive with the Holy Spirit. Lord, Restore your kingdom in the world. You received all power in heaven and on earth to bear witness to the truth. Guide in the spirit of truth the plans of governments and rulers. Lord, restore your kingdom in the world. Keep our eyes fixed on the new heaven and the new earth. Make us care more deeply for our world and its future. Lord, restore your kingdom to the world. You descended into hell to bring the dead good news. Let the faithful departed come to you, their joy, their hope, their glory. Lord, restore your kingdom in the world.
prayers of thankfulness are offered by Zusi and Mattia for the continuing recovery of their mum, Joanna Mas. And a prayer request from the Kingdom of Bahrain from Jomon, who was baptised Thomas. He says his mind is inspiring him to become a Catholic priest Please pray for the mercy of God for fulfilling his plan on me. We pray in thankfulness and blessing for Tom and Sarah married here today in this church, that they may be granted a long, faithful, happy and loving life together. A prayer request from Ray and Mari. They ask for prayers to be said for the recovery of Edgar Labrui, who is in hospital at this time. A prayer request from Grace. She asks for a candle this evening for my brother Gerard. He starts radio and chemotherapy for his cancer on Monday afternoon. A prayer request from Yasmin. Please could you light a candle for my dad, John, in memory of his birthday today. And we light a candle and pray earnestly for an increase in the vocations to the sacred priesthood to the diaconate and to religious life. We ask God to give people courage if they feel the call to listen to God, put their hand in his and go forward to offer themselves for priesthood. We pray for the repose of the souls of all the departed today, particularly those who have worshipped with us in the past, our own loved ones who have gone before us, and we look forward to the time when we'll, we'll be reunited with them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. We sum up all our prayers with that great prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. By your will, Lord God, your Son underwent the agony of the cross to break the power of Satan over man. Give your people grace to rise again with Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Regina Celi Latare Alleluia Qui aque moristi portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, sicud dixit, Alleluia, Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 